Ellen Langer, who's one of the, she's sort of the godmother of peak performance aging. She was at Harvard forever. She has said over and over for the year, years that aging is as much a mental event as a physical process. And the data is really crazy. And I'll just tell you about one of her studies because it's the most famous. It's maybe, I probably ran the weirdest study in peak performance aging anybody's ever run. The second weirdest is, is the, what I'm about to tell you, her counterclockwise study. So this is, she does her early work on language priming and how language priming really, really, really impacts perception. And she, she does early work on the mind-body connection. So she's really interested in how language priming can impact health and like physical stuff. And she starts to wonder after some early experiments if aging is like, a language priming thing. If what we think of as old is actually like a language, like, et cetera. So she designs this famous experiment known as the counterclockwise experiment. It's 1981. She's at Harvard. She gets 16, 75 to 85 year old men. She drives them three hours north of Boston to a monastery. They've repurposed the monastery. It looks exactly like 1961. All the magazines are from 1961. This is yeah, so, so well. Wow. They, they, they turn back the clock and they divide the groups of people into two groups of eight. One group just talks about 1961. Like, oh, they reminisce. I, back then I was blah, blah, blah. The other group has to pretend it's 1961, right? So they're talking in the present tense, like, oh shit, Cuban Missile Crisis, what is Kennedy gonna do? Like that kind of stuff. And they measure everything you could possibly measure, everything you could possibly measure, physically, mentally, whatever. The changes in the group that play acted 20 years younger are so I mean, every measure of health improves. Their hearing improves. Their eyesight improves. Their arthritis goes away. This is after five days. Arthritis goes away so much that they get taller and their fingers got longer. It's crazy. In fact, it was so crazy that nobody believed it was true. So they've rerun the damn experiment like four times. They've made television shows. In it. There's three different television shows where they ran the experiment and filmed it in Europe because nobody believed it. Um, and they just recently, this data isn't, hasn't been released yet, but they just recently uh, reran it like right at the start of COVID. I don't know if they got to finish it because of COVID. So I, they may still be doing it with like every modern biological measure they could. They could. But the results of that have been like, that's like when you talk about aging as a mental event, what she's saying is, is the link between mind and body and aging is so much stronger than you could possibly, possibly imagine. And when the deeper you get into the research, like the counterclockwise study is crazy. Our, my study was crazy, but there's like 50 others that are just as fucking weird where you're like, are you kidding me? Like, oh my God. So again, People reach for all these, they reach for diet and supplements and going to the doctor and um, or the wrong kind of exercise and they're not reaching for the most powerful tools available.